Hello and welcome back to Himachal Minds, the Tribune Analysis. I'm really sorry, this is not a Tribune Analysis. Yes, but the news articles taken are from the Tribune, Hindu and the Indian Express. So we are going to revise the current affairs from the 8th to 15th of November. So yes, you must be using the Tribune Analysis. If you want the Tribune Analysis to continue from the December session, please let me know in the comment box. If you are new here watching this video for the very first time, please subscribe to Himachal Minds. Do share your Sujhav Kimti Sujhav in the comment box below and we'll be covering the current affairs with uh, respect to the static portion also which will be helpful for your coming competitive examinations. So without any further delay let's begin our lecture it's going to be quite interesting and the rest of the November current affairs will be covered in the coming week. So don't worry the videos are going to come and please let me know in the comment box I am requesting you once again if you are watching my video if you are an old subscriber that do you want the lectures to be on daily basis yes or no so if you are new here please subscribe and uh, also uh, we'll have a demo session in between the uh, slides so bane rahiye stick to the video in between you'll have a demo lectures and uh, let's see the articles that we will dis discuss today we are going to discuss today is the national international and the himachal articles so let's begin the national articles news in the previous week not this week the uh, supreme court upholds the validity of 103rd constitution amendment providing 10% reservation to ews economic weaker section okay so recently supreme court by majority 3 is to 2 majority upheld validity of 103rd constitutional amendment which introduced 10% reservation for ews in education so if i am not wrong teen panch जजिस का ये आपका बेंच था और उसमें से तीन ने इसे वैध माना और दो ने इसे वैध नहीं माना सो द मेजोरिटी वेंस सो थ्री इज टू टू एंड पब्लिक एम्प्लॉयमेंट अमंग नॉन ओबीसीज एंड एस एस टी सेक्शन ऑफ पॉपुलेशन नाउ व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन द रीसेंट कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स ऑफ एर एच एस एन इन नायब तहसीलदार द क्वेश्चन हैज बिन अगेन एंड अगेन आस्ट विद रिगार्ड्स टू अर वन हंड्रेड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंडमेंट Uh, providing 10% reservation to EWS. Please remember the articles 15, 6 and 16, 6. इसे आप 15, 6 और 16, 6 कर कर ऐसे टोट के में याद कर सकते हो. And the Constitution was challenged, starting that it, stating that it's violated basic structure of the Constitution. Now also remember the Supreme Court introduced doctrine of basic structure. <coughs> In Keshav Nanda Bharti case 1973, by which it ruled out certain aspects of constitution were inviolable and could not be changed. So please remember, Article 15.6 and 16.6 in the constitution was challenged, and many a times question have been asked. So you need to remember the articles 15.6 and 16.6. Now the next is Justice Deva Chandrachur becomes 50th Chief Justice of India. Now, whenever we study about, everybody is aware of the current affair of. Uh, mainly the chief justice because very common but what is important here is that the sup uh, the supreme court chief justice or you can say the chief justice of india are appointed by president under clause 2 of article 124 of the constitution dhyan rakhiyega clause 2 of the article 124 hamare bharatiya samvidhan ke tahat or memorandum of procedure and appointment of supreme court of judges states that the chief justice of india should be senior most judge of the supreme court considered fit to hold the office the next chief justice name is recommended by the outgoing चीफ जस्टिस हिमसेल्फ प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस ओके तो आर्टिकल्स के क्लॉज और आर्टिकल्स बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बन जाते हैं स्टैटिक अफेयर्स में Now, Supreme Court से related एक और है सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज फ्री द सिक्स रिमेनिंग राजीव गांधी किलर्स इट वॉज इन द न्यूज यस द आर्टिकल विच हेयर वॉज मैं was article 142 now what is this article 142 exercising its powers under article 142 of the constitution supreme court set free the remaining six convicts in the rajiv gandhi assassination case okay please remember this now what is this article 142 this article 142 enforcement of uh, decrees and order of supreme court now the supreme court in exercise of its jurisdiction may pass such decree of or make such order as is necessary for doing complete justice in any cause of matter depending before it theek hai to yahan par ye jo decree hai if i am not be pronouncing it uh, right please shama uh, kijiyega mujhe itni achhi english nahi hai hamari to ye jo decree ka matlab hota hai ek tarah ka ek aapka aap bol sakte ho ki ye ek official order ki tarah yahan par ye mana jata hai and uh, so passed or order so made shall be enforceable throughout the territory of india in such manner as may it be prescribed so agar aapko prashn aa jata hai ki article kaun se article ke tahat the supreme court had free the six remaining killers of the rajiv gandhi so it is article 142 so if i have to move on from the previous slides so it's all about articles only article 156 166 ews then your uh, clause to article 124 of the constitution chief justice of india then article 142 that is the decree of the supreme court enforcement of decrees and orders of supreme court please remember this now the next uh, 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 current affair is related to your uh, 
हिमालयन ग्रे लंगूर विच इज समेनोपिथिकस एजेक्स इट इज अ एंडेंजर्ड स्पीशीज अकॉर्डिंग टू दूसियन स्टेटस द थ्रेट्स आर फ्रेगमेंटेशन डिफॉरेस्ट्रेशन परसिक्यूशन एंड रिटेलिटरी किलिंग ड्यू टू क्रॉप रीडिंग एंड कमर्शियल हॉर्टिकल्चर एक्सपेंशन सो वट वट हैज बीन इन न्यूज अबाउट दिस लंगूर इज दैट दिस लंगूर इज वेरी मच known to the northwestern part of himachal pradesh that is chamba the naming pattern is from the chamba that is grey langur please remember this himalayan grey langur or the chamba sacred langur okay is a colobine meaning leaf eating monkey so difference in altitude make himalayan grey langur to choose between flowers and fruits as food options beyond their staple menu of leaves so this has been released by a, a biodiversitical research um, uh, authority who had given this uh, uh, concept regarding the uh, change of height patterns when they move from a uh, different altitude from a lower to higher or a higher to lower depending on the weather so they what they do is they choose between flowers and fruits as food options beyond their staple menu of leaves what is important here is the uh, scientific name and the generic generic name and the specific epithet that is the genesis name and the species name that is semenopithecus ajax himalayan grey langur or the chamba sacred langur please remember this it was in news now pm modi has unveiled uh, the 108 feet bronze statue of bengaluru founder nada prabhu kempe gowda please remember this nada prabhu kempe gowda is a very important personality from your historical context he was a 16th century chieftain of the vijayanagara empire and is credited as the founder of bengaluru please remember this a descendant of morasu gowda he is considered one of the most educated and successful ruler of his time he is also known to have developed around 1000 lakes in the city to cater to drinking and agriculture needs he built the bangalore fort uh, and the town around 1537 this is important he is also credited for prohibiting custom and amputation of last two fingers of left hand of unmarried women during bandi devaru so this had been some old customary ritual which was you know uh, was a credit given to nada prabhu kema gowda for prohibiting such custom of amputation please remember this this is an important current affair from historical perspective now let's move to the international news article which were uh, from 8 to 15 were in news so modi had uh, uh, prime minister modi unveiled the g20 logo theme with one world push okay so this is a one world push theme g20 one earth one family and one future so one world has been here been inculcated now prime minister modi unveiled the logo theme and website of india g20 presidency as you know the india is going to be the next hosting the g20 presidency it draws inspiration from india's national flag and uh, Uh, reflecting india's pro planet approach to life with the lotus reflecting growth amid challenges what is the theme theme is vasudeva kutumbakam or one earth one family and one future drawn from maha upanishad please remember this it also spotlights life now the life here is lifestyle for environment g20 was founded in 1999 as a forum of finance ministers and central bank governors after the asian financial crisis now g20 and g20 members represents around 85% of the global gdp over 75% of global trade please remember this after that isa that is international solar alliance was in news has uh, uh, you know released the our uh, our solar future road map to mobilize 1 trillion dollar by 2030 released at cop 27 in partnership with the world resource institute wri and bloomberg philanthropies it outlines priority actions by governments development finance institutions and other actors to you know rapidly invest need to for investment average annual investment in solar uh, solutions needs to double from 2021 through 2030 to achieve the paris climate goals and sustainable development goals falling costs for solar energy and battery energy storage have made solar technology cost competitive with for fossil fuels so the need of the r for the coming future is to uh, go and rely towards more renewable energy okay rather than to more focus on non renewable energy uh, and uh, international solar alliance is working on that part roadmap pertains to four solar market segments okay now what is important here from the static affair is that when was this isa launched the international solar alliance was jointly launched by india and france at cop 21 in paris in 2015 please remember this to provide a dedicated platform among solar resource rich countries and the headquarters if i am not wrong it is in haryana gurgaon okay gurgaon haryana 
ಗುರುಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಹರಿಯಾಣ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಯು ಎಸ್ ಟ್ರೆಜರಿ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಎಲ್ ಎನ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಫಾರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಶೋರಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಮೇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ದಿ ವೆನ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಅಫೇರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಪ್ರೆವಲೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೇನ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪ್ರೀಲಿಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ನು ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಟೈಸ್ ನಾವು ಸೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಡೀಪ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಇಕಾನಮಿಕ್ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಯುನೈಟೆಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರೆಸರಿ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಪೇಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಶೋರಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಶೋರಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಇಕಾನಮಿ ಇಕಾನಮಿಕಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಸಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೇಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶೋರಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಆಫ್ ಶೋರಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಅ ಟರ್ಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಇನ್ಕಲ್ಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಶೋರಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಿಚ್ ಬೈ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಸುಲೇಟ್ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಚೇನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಪ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಕಾನಮಿಕ್ ವರ್ಜನ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ರೇಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಪ್ಷನ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ದ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಚೈನಾ ಟ್ರೇಡ್ ವಾರ್ ಓಕೆ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ನೋಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಿ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಪ್ಯಾಂಡಮಿಕ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾಂಡಮಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ರಷ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇನ್ವೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುಕ್ರೇನ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಟು Uh, make the integration between us and india there is a new term uh, in the terms of your economical trade partnership that is friend shoring if a question comes friend shoring trade deals and all the treasury uh, related things have was in news is between your which uh, which was uh, you know me- mentioned by which tre- treasury secretary or the treasury secretary it was pitched by the united states treasury secretary okay please remember this now the vice president leads delegation at 19th asean india summit in cambodia please remember this recently uh, vice president of india attended the 19th asean india summit in phnom phe cambodia the key highlights of the summit was both sides elevated ties to comprehensive strategic part- partnership that is csp to focus on specific areas like your maritime security projects of indo pacific cyber security and interoperability of digital finance system now this uh, comprehensive uh, strategic partnership csp will enable cooperation in areas like your energy health investments and in making india technology climate change etc india announced an additional outlay of 5 million for asean india science and technology fund so question can be in your uh, correct incorrect statement this remember each and every line and i have jotted down all the important points so it will be helpful for you the pdf will be provided on our telegram groups on also on the website in the coming times expedite review of asean trade in goods agreement which is your itga okay now asean is a regional group for that promotes economic political and social security cooperation remember this when was it established it was established in august 1967 in bangkok thailand with the signing of the asean declaration bangkok declaration by fund- funding fathers of asean which were namely as indonesia malaysia philippines singapore and thailand its chairmanship rotates annually based on the alphabetical order of english names of the member states please remember this the next news article uh, is uh, telling us about the nine countries join the international alliance to boost offshore wind power aims 380 gigawatts by 2030 so new countries including belgium cambodia and germany this can be asked united states united kingdom etc join the gowa which is your <coughs> very important um, you can say uh, type of uh, agency which deals with your uh, uh, offshore winds okay now this uh, uh ob- its objective is to contribute to achieving total offshore uh, wind capacity of a m- uh, minimum th- 380 gigawatt by 2030 and an installed capacity increase at least 70 gigawatt per year from 2030 please remember this so this uh, gowa that is your global wind energy council uh, is uh, um, initiated by the international renewable energy agency denmark and uh, and this uh, particular topic okay the to boost the offshore wind power aims which is aiming 380 gigawatts by 2030 and this uh, gwec uh, is the international trade uh, association uh, for the wind power industry india is also a member please remember this with regards to your offshore winds now students uh, here we have some live uh, plus recorded lectures so if anybody is interested can contact us and can join us our telegram channels also and contact us on himachalminds@gmail.com or you can visit our websites and we have the live plus recorded lectures facility also uh, this time so here is a demo lecture so please watch this so today we are going to see some important aspects with regards to the hatis of himachal pradesh so students please revise the geographical aspect although i will be having a revision here बट प्लीज आप अच्छे से रिवाइज कर लें पूरा वाला पिछला जितना भी आपका था ताकि आपको अच्छे से चीजों को एक तरह से लिंक कर कर समझ कर आप अपना जितना भी निर्वहन है 
अपनी प्रिपरेशन का वो आगे कैरी फॉरवर्ड कर सके सो इंट्रोडक्शन ऑन फोर्टीन सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू यूनियन मिनिस्टर फॉर ट्राइबल अफेयर्स मिस्टर अरुण मुंडा अनाउंस डिसीजन टेकन बाय द कैबिनेट टू ग्रांड शेड्यूल ट्राइब स्टेटस टू हार्टी कम्युनिटी लिविंग इन द ट्रांसगिरी रीजन ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश नो वेन एवर वी हैव टू स्टडी दी ट्रांसगिरी दिस इज द area of sirmor or the map of the sirmor where a river is dividing it into two section now this river is your giri river now this giri river when divide sirmor into two section the upper one is the transgiri and the lower one is your sisgiri and both have a intermingled sequencing r giri par giri okay if you are in sis then they will say that is par and this is r and if you are in trans they will say that this is r and that is par giri okay so don't get confused transgiri is the word that you have to use here that you have to inculcate here and we had studied yesterday from rajgarh to your renuka and in the above section of the renuka segment we had studied about the many dhars in which we had your dudham dhar nigali dhar shilai dhar okay and also your uh, one more yes nigali dhar so dudham nigali shilai and kamru dhar oh, i'm sorry kamru dhar the area this uh, whole of the region is also referred to as your shilai region and it is comprising of all these dhar or the mountainous tracts and these areas are confined to the hathi tribe in the transgiri region and one side you have the jogar river and one side you have the tons river and also you have the naira river in between so please remember all the important geographical aspect please do watch the previous lecture that is lecture number 20 in order to get the detailed information regarding the geographical aspect and the relation regards to the hathi community hathi community of sirmor now a silent struggle for the last 55 years has finally yielded fruits after the bill passed by both the houses of parliament and it becomes an act the hathi community would then get listed in the fifth schedule as scheduled tribe under article 352 342 i'm sorry so fifth schedule and uh, your article number 342 of the indian constitution it has been a long struggle in 1967 the adjoining region of jonsar now in uttarakhand was included in scheduled tribe list and the hathis of himachal pradesh thriving on the other side of river tons and also the other two rivers that we did were denied the status hathis and jonsars also separated geo पॉलिटिकली बाई टॉन्स रिवर से उनका हमें देखने को तो मिल रहा है भौगोलिक परिस्थितियों से बट इनका जो दाई चारा है दाई चारा इज रेफरिंग टू दिनशिप टाइज यानी जो इनकी नातेदारी है एंड द कल्चरल एफिलियशन यानी सांस्कृतिक जो सद्भावना है इनकी आपस में शेयर होती है जो आपके उत्तराखंड के हाटी है और जो टॉन से इस तरफ है यानी ट्रांसगिरी वाले हाटी है विद ईच अदर इन ऑल एस्पेक्ट बी इट इकोनॉमी एंड एग्रीकल्चर प्रैक्टिस रिचुअल एंड कल्चर प्रैक्टिस सोशल स्टेटस फेस्टिविटीज दे आर अलाइक इट इज द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव जुरिस्डिक्शन ऑफ अनदर स्टेट दैट इट हैज बीन Neglected and denied the status of scheduled tribe, but now they have the status of scheduled tribe after such a long struggle. The community has lived with the grievance for more than five decades. So, five decades till now, it has been going on. And this geography, you will see. So, let's revise this again. This is your Giri division. You have seen it. And here, I will tell you again. This is your Shilai Dhar. In this, there are your Kamru, Shilai, Dudham, and Nigali. It is very important. Please remember once again the geographical aspect. One side you have Tons, 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 को हम लिंक कर सकते हैं अभी पीछे जैसे सरकार की योजना आई थी शी हार्ट जहां पर महिलाओं द्वारा बनाए गए स्पेशल उत्पादों को एक तरह से एग्जीबिशन के तौर पर रखा जाता था तो रखा गया है और रखा जाता है तो वो हार्ट जो वर्ड है आप यहां से रिलेट कर सकते हो कि हार्ट से बना है हार्टीज तो नेम डेरिवेशन इज फ्रॉम द स्मॉल मार्केट कॉल्ड हार्ट एंड हार्टी वेन ट्रेडिशनली डॉन अ डिस्टिंगटिव व्हाइट हेडगेयर एज ऑन सेरीमनी ओकेजन ओके तो सिर पर एक हेडगेयर वो पहनते वो हम देखेंगे आगे द हार्टी होमलैंड स्टेडल्स द हिमाचल उत्तराखंड Okay after watching the demo lecture let's see the Himachal news the Himachal news articles which was recently in news although is bar jo mudda chal raha hai election ka hi chal raha hai aur abhi result bhi awaited hai to kafi zyada sard garmi chal rahi hai chunavon ki 
क्षमा कीजिएगा लाइफ टाइम अचीवमेंट अवार्ड फॉर रिनाउंड फोक सिंगर द हिमालयन साहित्य संस्कृति एंड पर्यावरण मंच हैज डिसाइडेड टू ऑनर डॉक्टर कृष्ण लाल सैगल जी विद द लाइफ टाइम अचीवमेंट अवार्ड फॉर इज आउटस्टैंडिंग कंट्रीब्यूशन टू द फील्ड ऑफ हिमाचली फोक एंड म्यूजिक प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस एंड 75.6 परसेंट हाइएस्ट एवर वोटिंग रिकॉर्डेड इन हिमाचल प्रदेश हिमाचल हैज रजिस्टर्ड द हाइएस्ट एवर वोटिंग इन एनी विधानसभा और लोकसभा पोल्स विद रिकॉर्ड टर्न आउट ऑफ सेवेंटी ओके एंड this figure is likely to go up with the postal ballots yet to be received so we have to wait for the official statistics by the election commission so hats off to the people they took part bahut badh chadh kar aapne hissa liya lavi fair concludes at rampur so lavi fair is a international uh, you can say a merchant fair and it is a very much important in terms of your principality of rampur and bushehr because rampur bushehr is one of the satluj uh, sides Uh, you can say uh, whenever we study the princely states of uh, shimla what we do is we divide it into two parts the uh, satluj irrigation princely states and the yamuna uh, irrigation princely states uh, the simple meaning the princely states whose waters uh, are flowing uh, in term, in context of your satluj river system and your yamuna river system are divided into two parts so the bushehr princely state is mainly your satluj uh, water system and that is upper shimla area principality and uh, it had extended in the previous time right from bushehr up to the chini part of your mahasu that is up to your kinnor and its uh, vanshavali is very uh, old uh, from the time of your lord pradyuman up to your current from the ancient tribe to the modern tribe that is uh, veer bhadr singh ji the sixth time chief minister and presently his son that is vikramaditya singh so lavi fair had concluded at rampur so it plays a very important role the all the fairs and festivities in the society of himachal pradesh if we get time we will discuss about the history of lavi fair in the coming times so if you anybody is interested in the online classes you saw the demo lectures you saw the current affairs so this was the uh, lecture for today i hope you like the lecture and uh, one more article is there yes soba singh art festival is uh, has to be started from november 27 ट्वेंटी सेवन से आपका चलेगा सोभा सिंह आर्ट गैलरी फ्रॉम आर्ट एंड आर्किटेक्चर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज इन योर कांगड़ा सोभा सिंह आर्ट गैलरी एंड ऑल्सो दी अंद्रेटा वन इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज क्वाइट यू नो फेमस इन टर्म्स ऑफ आर्ट एंड आर्किटेक्चर वेयर ऑल द थिंग्स आर रिलेटेड टू योर पेंटिंग्स एंड ऑल मिनियचर पेंटिंग्स मेनली द मिनियचर पेंटिंग्स एंड दी सोभा सिंह आर्ट फेस्ट इज टू बिगिन फ्रॉम द नवंबर ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड वन मोर न्यूज आर्टिकल वॉज देयर इफ अ क्वेश्चन कम्स विच लोकेटेड एट हाइट ऑफ over 9000 feet the ka polling booth in kinnor district recorded 112.5% now you'll say how was that possible so kinnor district returning officer said that when the polling had happened there were 16 voters 11 women and 5 men enrolled at the ka booth okay and 14 9 women and 5 men of them cast their vote so the polling percentage touched 112.50 as four persons who were part of the polling party also casted their vote taking the number total votes to 18 so kinor has made us record in itself the ka part and uh, yes so this was the uh, news for the uh, previous times that is 8 to of 14 november i hope you like the lecture also the demo in between so if anybody is still interested you can contact us we have our telegram groups uh, the discussion group groups uh, although it's a closed discussion groups but you can join our telegram handles and you can contact us on telegram also and as well as on our gmail official gmail id if you are interested in enrolling yourself in the paid live or recorded lecture classes with this i'll take your leave thank you and have a nice day